Welcome back. Fearing a post-holiday spike in their classrooms, teachers with the Toronto District School Board are calling on the province and Toronto Public Health to shut down schools and move to online learning for at least the first two weeks of the new year. And the request comes after three TDSB schools in the Thorncliffe neighbourhood declared outbreaks. So what's next? I'm joined now by the board's chair, Alexander Brown. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, I want to get your take on uh, the direction of making a decision like this and whether this needs to come from Toronto Public Health, Ministry of Education, or can it be made from a local level, from the TDSB? Are you talking about closing a school? Closing and extending that, that break into the new year, yes. Yeah, no, the Toronto District School Board is not making these decisions on their own. We haven't been doing that since the beginning of the pandemic. We've, we've always uh, we've, um, worked with Toronto Public Health uh, throughout the, the, you know, the, the last eight or nine months of the pandemic to get where we are today. And we rely on their advice uh, if they have... Um, uh, if, they're, uh, if they are of the opinion that the school needs to close. Okay, so you need to get their, uh, their direction, I guess, uh, which we've seen from the beginning, as you mentioned. What about when it comes to asymptomatic testing? What are your thoughts on, we saw what happened with Thorncliffe Park, turning up dozens of positive cases of COVID-19, which people who might not have been tested previously. Um, this letter also saying, let's get asymptomatic testing at every school within the TDSB. What do you think? Well, I, 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 that, that is a, a decision that the government's going to have to make. I don't think that the TDSB or any school board in the province would be, uh, would be saying, no, we don't want that. Um, it, uh, the, you know, the, the number of cases that are identified through the asymptomatic, um, it doesn't necessarily mean a school will close. Um, Toronto Public Health has come out with new guidelines for schools as well. If you have, if uh, a child or a, a teacher or a, somebody coming into school has one symptom, they are asked to stay home and isolate for up to ten days. Uh, if they, if during the isolation, if they have a test and it's found to be uh, negative, then they can come back to school. So these guidelines have been put in place as well to help. Uh, uh, contain the spread. And, and new this week, those guidelines, as you mentioned, with the one symptom and testing with also isolation with siblings. How is that going so far? I, I know a lot of people were split on, on it saying maybe it's going too far, others saying it, not far enough. Uh, well, it's only been a few days since it's uh, been in place, so I don't have a, an update on it from our staff. But uh, I, I think that, you know, if you, if you are trying to keep the school safe, and we've been getting praise for the, the fact that our schools are safe, relatively safe, compared to uh, what's going on in the communities uh, throughout the province, the, the city and, and the high, um, uh, the red zone areas. Uh, so I, I, I think that uh, we're on the right track with this. Alexander, the three schools that we mentioned uh, in advance of the interview. So Thorncliffe Park, which we now know is extended into that closure until at least next week. Uh, Mark yeah. Arno Collegiate, um, Fraser Mustard. Do you have an update on any of these schools and any further timelines? Uh, well, I, for, for Thorncliffe Park, they're, they're uh, looking at reopening it again on December 14th. Just checking the numbers. Um, and that goes as well for Fraser Mustard, I think. Um, for Mark Garneau, um, it's going to be closed. It was closed from uh, yesterday, which was the ninth, or today, basically. Uh, and, and again, that won't uh, that won't be coming back until after the break. So um, that's the update on that that I can give you for the, for now. As we look to the holidays, um, and this is the last question for you because I know you've got a busy schedule, but as we look to the holidays and then going ahead into the new year, are we going to regroup? Will anything change when it comes to protocols? We saw the new changes, as you mentioned, this week with mm -hmm. the one symptom. Can we expect more of that? Uh, at this point, I can't say. Um, obviously, if you look at uh, what's going on, you know, um, the community spread, the, the numbers have never been higher. Uh, this morning on the radio, I also heard and, and I've seen, uh, you know, discussions about people getting on buses that are crowded. So when you're at, when out in the community, if people are, and I've seen it in stores, crowding in, uh, I, I don't know uh, what protocols are being put in place for that. But to me, I am not. I don't go around, you know, uh, afraid of every corner, but when I see something like that, I don't want to get on the bus. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think if that isn't taken care of, our schools will continue to struggle, 
but we've did, we've been you know we're still getting praise for being a safer place to be than anywhere else mm -hmm. right now. And we got a lot other of, than home. Yeah, and we've got a lot of questions that we're going to pose to uh, Toronto Mayor John Tory, who joins me in half an hour as well. TDSB Chair Alexander Brown, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you.